Hey guys, we have a few announcements of things we're really excited about. But before we get to that, I think we have to address the elephants in the room. And if you think this is bad, just wait one second. <laughs> so, very sorry about this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the reason we have mustaches is because we've been doing a campaign for November to help raise money to, for the prevention of male suicide, which is an issue close to our hearts. So we had the kind of culmination of it uh, yesterday at our Christmas party, which was uh, also designed to celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers, which we'll talk about. And the kind of set piece in it, it was an evening full of loads of people who we've collaborated with before. We had DJs, we had music, and then the, the culmination was David getting shaved live, <laughs> actually in stages. So there were mutton chops, there was kind of Civil War era, like no hair on the chin, but everything else linked up. That was my personal favorite, I think. And then finally ending up with the mustache. So uh, that sort of explains why this is happening. So one of the reasons for the party was hitting 100,000 YouTube subscribers, which we managed on Tuesday. And want to thank all the subscribers for that, and in particular our members. And we made a little animation to say thank you, which we're gonna roll now. So the members are the reason that we're able to keep making the films and have also developed into a really good community around the, the kind of subjects that we're covering on the channel. So if you are a viewer and you would like to support us, please do become a member. So we also wanted to update everybody on what we have coming up, not just on the channel, but also in our live events. So we have at the end of February a new two-day event coming up, called, which we're calling Impossible Conversations. And it's sort of an extension of what we started with our experimental collective intelligence lab. And it's, it's a weekend of really skilling up and leveling up in what we need in order to be able to have really difficult cultural conversations. We've got some great facilitators coming in and it's really around getting a toolkit so that everything from understanding our nervous systems to being able to control our breath, to be able to understand what are our core values that are playing out when we have these conversations, so really looking forward to that. And then we're going to do a bigger announcement around this soon, but we have our largest event ever, which is the Rebel Wisdom Festival, which is a two-day festival of ideas and embodiment. It's indoors, it's in London, it's going to be at the end of May, and we'll announce uh, a little bit more about that soon, but we're very excited about that as well. And on the channel, we've got a whole series of films coming up. We've got films with John Vivekey. We've got a sequel to the War on Sense Making piece with Daniel Schmachtenberger called War on Sense Making 2. And we have an interview with Diane Musho Hamilton, which I'm really excited about. That was a really good interview. And we've got a whole series of films as well with Jamie Wheel, who was over in London recently. And we also want to announce that we have a new Rebel Wisdom correspondent in Toronto, who is Peter Lindbergh, who runs the Intellectual Explorers Club there and has been doing some really, really interesting work. So we've got a couple of films coming out with him. And I'm going to play a little clip uh, from him now as a kind of introduction. It was something interesting about the frame of the group, the Intellectual Explorers Club, because it attracted and invited all sorts of different people with different ideologies, from feminists to men's rights activists to conservatives, liberals. And I was the facilitator taking in all these points of views and just feeling the tension of, of people waiting for their turn so they can spit out their position. And I think this afforded me uh, an understanding uh, like on a visceral level of uh, the culture war because I got a front row seat to it. And the unique thing about the Intellectual Explorers Club that I think you, David, witnessed when you were here in Toronto is that it's sort of like the Switzerland of the culture war in the sense that it can house all these mimetic tribes, whether it's the, the rationalist or post-rationalists, uh, Extinction Rebellion, Effective Altruist, Feminist, uh, Men's Right Activists. They have a, a home there and they don't feel threatened because the frame of it is that we're understanding them on their own terms. And the way I like to think of it, like Ken Wilber, to, to reference his developmental model or spiral dynamics, is that uh, you know, there's a certain developmental stage where there's a pre-modern, there's a modern, a post-modern. And uh, if Ken Wilber is correct, there is sort of a pathological version of post-modernism right now. So I view this performative agnosticism, this intellectual explorers club, 
as uh, gesturing towards a healthy postmodernism, having the capability of just talking to someone on their own terms. And, and it really leans on the, the Omega rule. What is the signal there that people are giving you? You can see the video from the event that Peter and I did together in Toronto in the members area of the Rebel Wisdom website. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and let's get up to a million by the end of the week. <laughs> I just keep forgetting you've got a moustache. I don't keep forgetting you've got a moustache. <laughs> getting rid of it as soon as I get home tonight. Rebel Wisdom is a new sense-making platform bringing together the most rebellious and inspiring thinkers from around the world. If you're enjoying our content, then you can help us make more by becoming a subscriber, which will give you access to a load of exclusive films. Also, you can then join our group Zoom calls to discuss the ideas in the films, and you can send us ideas for questions for upcoming interviews. And if you're a regular viewer, you'll know we talk a lot about the value of embodying or actually living out the ideas that we talk about. So that's why we run regular events in London. Check out the links on the website for more and hope to see you soon.